Installation steps of hydraulic steering system up to 350 HP. Step 1 Installation of Helm Place the helm mounting template supplied with the installation manual on the dashboard where the helm is to be mounted. Drill four small holes and one big hole in the center as per the template. Remove the protective plugs, nylock nuts and washer from the helm. Insert the vented plug into oil filling port and the elbow fittings into the elbow ports until they are fully seated with a wrench. Insert the helm from the front of the dashboard with the vented plug turned upwards matching the four flange studs moving inside the four holes on the dashboard. Insert washers in the flange stud and tighten the nylock nuts. Step 2. Installation of steering wheel. Remove the nylock nut and washer from the helm shaft. Insert the woodruff key into the keyway provided on the helm shaft. Slide the steering wheel on the helm shaft aligning the keyway and the woodruff key. Insert the washer and tighten the lock nut. Fix the trim cap at the center of the steering wheel. Step 3. Installation of front mount cylinder. Remove the nylock nuts and washers from support rod and piston rod. Disassemble the cylinder by removing support brackets, bush, spacers, washer and mounting spacer. Apply marine grade grease on the support rod and insert it into the tilt tube of the engine. Assemble the tiller hex stud assembly into the tiller plate of cylinder. Position the engine straight so that its engine arm is perpendicular to the transom. Connect the tiller plate of cylinder to the engine arm by screwing the hex stud. Tighten nylock nut lightly. Insert the bush, mounting spacer and spacers, washer. Choose the correct number of washers for the tilt tube rod. Adjust the cylinder in mid-stroke with the help of center alignment tube and insert the right and left support brackets by connecting both the piston and support rods. Grease the nylock nut threads with any anti-seize grease. Insert the washers and nylock nut at the end of the piston and support rod and tighten them. Adjust the space on the tilt tube by tightening the mounting spacers until the clearance between tilt tube and spacers is eliminated. Remove the center alignment plastic tubes from the piston rod. Verify if the cylinder installation is correct by manually moving the engine on the starboard and port side. The displacement must be as symmetric as much as possible between port and starboard so that the steering angle is the same on both sides. Step 4. Hose Connection. Remove the thread protector cap from the starboard side of the elbow of helm and insert the hose fitting into it. Tighten the hex nut on the hose fitting. Remove the thread protector cap from port side T fitting of cylinder and insert the hose fitting into it. Tighten the hex nut on the hose fitting. Repeat this step to connect the other hose from the port side elbow of the helm to the starboard side T fitting of the cylinder. Ensure that all the hose fittings should be tightened properly. Step 5. Oil filling and purging procedure. Replace the main oil bottle cap with the oil filling kit. Remove the oil filling plug of helm. Insert the threaded port of pipe into the oil filling port of helm. Turn the bottle upside down and carefully remove the other side cap of the oil bottle to ease the oil passage towards the helm. Fill the helm until no air bubbles are visible in the pipe. Do not pin a hole in the bottle for air passage. The bottle is already designed for self-air passage. Remove the protector cap of both the air bleeders. Insert the smaller pipe supplied with the cylinder into the air bleeders for collecting the oil, coming out from the air bleeders during the purging process. Turn the steering wheel slowly towards the starboard side, so that the oil can come out of hoses. The cylinder will start moving to the port side. As the cylinder reaches the extreme port side, unscrew the port side air bleeder and allow the air and oil air bubbles to come out from air bleeder. Continue to turn the steering wheel towards starboard side. When the oil comes out from the air bleeder without air bubbles, then carefully close the air bleeder. Continue to turn the steering wheel in the port side to fill the cylinder chamber. During this phase, 
the cylinder body will move to the opposite direction, starboard side, up to the end stroke. Repeat above step for port side. After completion of the purging process, remove the oil bottle, oil filling kit and oil collection kit. Insert the vented plug and protective caps. Step 6. Testing steering system for air. Place the engine in the center position, mid-stroke position. Manually push engine back and forth. While pushing the engine, if the cylinder moves more than 2 to 3 millimeters, this indicates that there is still air remaining in the system and further purging is required. Continue the purging procedure till the displacement of the cylinder is less than 2 to 3 millimeters. Enjoy effortless steering with multi-steer. Bone Voyage.